Driving, it's something over 30 million of us do every day. I drive every day. Every day? Most days. Uh, every day. Umbrellas every day. Every day. The Green Cross Code character was created in 1970 to teach children about road safety. I first started driving a year ago, just when I turned 17. I started driving in 1962. I do enjoy driving. It, I can go wherever I want, whenever. So. I do enjoy driving, but I'm very wary of other drivers making mistakes and being too hasty. It took me just over a year to pass. I've been a driving instructor for at least eight years on cars. People often ask me, is it fun being a driving instructor? The honest answer is yes. The process of becoming a driving instructor is in three parts. There's a part one exam, part two, which is a driving test for myself, and a part three exam, which is where I have to play the part of teaching a driving examiner an instructional lesson. A special training you require for to become a driving instructor is really a more in-depth knowledge of the highway code to almost a ridiculous level of information. Um, a lot of understanding how people learn and getting that across to people and managing how people learn best. Over 1.6 million young people are learning to drive each year. More and more people are driving, which means the roads are getting busier, therefore putting pressure on our emergency services. Uh, my role is response officer, dealing with 999 calls on a daily basis. I'm a paramedic and I've uh, worked for the ambulance service, uh, qualified since 2009. My role in the fire service is as a firefighter but this is also, some firefighters are also drivers, um, and which I'm one of. Driving and safety is essential. It's very, very important. We deal with quite a lot of accidents, um, particularly around this time of year. It's everybody's responsibility, and um, you're responsible for your own actions, and you have to be accountable. You know, it's obviously about safety uh, to the crew that I'm trying to get to the fire, and also safety to the people out there. We go through a, a two to three week training course which covers aspects of safety not covered on the standard driving test. Um, certain procedures we do need to go through, checks on vehicles, um, safety in terms of when we stop people, how we deal with members of the public and that sort of thing. You have to do a uh, four week advanced driving course. We train, we have to go on the course, uh, the road craft course, which is run uh, initially by the police um, so we, we kind of do the same thing where we go high speed driving um, and we're taught how to well, basically drive fast carefully um, without endangering yourself or my crew. Well, when you're driving at normal road conditions it's just the same uh, the only difference is when you put the blue lights on and the sirens that's where the, uh, the real training comes in. <sighs> we're not allowed to do pursuits because we are not advanced drivers, there's two different levels. Um, so in terms of driving though, there's nothing that is, that is out of the ordinary. The, the process of stopping vehicles is quite standard, it's quite routine and there's never, there's never anything highly unusual that happens in terms of driving. It has changed the way I drive outside of work, I am more conscious. Well it's an HGV for a start, so obviously it doesn't, it doesn't act like your car, it doesn't pull away like your car, it doesn't stop like your car. It's 12 and a half ton, it's, it's got um, nearly two ton of water in the back, so that gives it a little bit of wobble as you're going along. So you've just got to drive within its limits, um, you, you just won't stop like your car. With over 5 billion bus journeys made each year, public transport is essential for the smooth running of our daily lives. I do use public transport, uh, mainly to go to Manchester or Liverpool by train. Occasionally, yeah, on the bus. Very occasionally, if it's hard for parking, or to get into Manchester. Like My role within Alton Transport is Director of Operations. To, to become a bus driver, it's, it's quite long and complicated, particularly for somebody who hasn't driven a bus before. They have to undertake a special driving test called a PCV, and they also have to sit what you call a CPC, a Certificate of Professional Competence, and without these two qualifications, you cannot drive a bus. The safety is paramount. Everything revolves around safety, particularly within our industry, we carry a lot of elderly and vulnerable passengers. The driver must ensure that these are seated before they pull away. My role is a crane operator in the Mersey Gateway project. Driving as a normal driver is completely different to driving as a crane operator. Just it's completely different ways of driving. You've got a steering wheel and pedals for a car and in a crane it's just two levers. 
it's, it's quite a dangerous role to be honest so you've got to be a, you have your wits about you all the time 